Okay, let's see what the Word of God has to say. This the big white man, Buang. Or is he speaking the Word of God in truth? Okay, okay. Uh, Colossians, Colossians, chapter 1. Kapitulo 1. Ephesians, Philippines, Philippians, Colossians, Colossians 1, verse 9. Versículo 9. For this reason, we also from the day we heard it, have not ceased to pray and make special requests for you, asking that you may be filled with the full, deep, and clear knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and comprehensive insight into the ways and purposes of God and understanding and discernment of spiritual things. Now we're talking about maturity again. Paul's praying for maturity. If, if he's praying this, it means that we can receive this. It means that it's available to us. And when I'm seeing this level of maturity is available to me, then I know I can have it. I know we can press in for it. Full, deep, and clear knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom. It comprehends an insight into the ways and purposes of God, understanding and discernment of the Spirit that you may walk, live, and conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, desiring to please Him in all things, bearing fruit in every good work. Amen. Amen. Is anybody here you want to bear good fruit in every good work? Aren't you just tired of not bearing fruit? Laboring and laboring and not going to fill me up. <laughs> I want to please Him in all things. Listen to this. Bearing fruit in every good work and steadily growing and increasing and by the knowledge of God with fuller, deeper, and clearer insight, acquaintance, and recognition. That's what's available. And some of us still have this mindset, well, you know, it's a process, it's going to take time. I'm not saying it won't take time, I'm saying in the spirit realm it doesn't have to take 20 years. How long did it take you to get saved? Did you have to labor for 20 years? <laughs> Did you have to beg God to save you? <laughs> Did you have to fast and pray? Huh? <laughs> How long did it take? <laughs> what? What? The moment. the moment you make a decision that I'm going to get saved. Yeah. Did Jesus say no? Uh, come back tomorrow. <laughs> You're not ready yet. You're not ready yet. But this is the kind of things we believe as Christians about healing and miracles and signs and wonders. Pagkaayos sa pagsakit sa sakit, kinin mga timailhan, mga kahibulong, mga kaputa, mga milagro. We don't get healed and we say, God, what am I doing wrong? You ever do that? Hindi ta ma, kanang di kundi kita maayos at umbalatian, mangutana na ito sa ginawa. Lord, ako sa nga, ako sa nga, ako sa nga. Don't look so holy now. Ayaw mo pagpakabalaan-balaan niya. God, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I get healed? Or mo yun ka nga, Lord, ako sa nga, 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 
You're asking to save you. Lord, may, may, Lord, what am I asking to save? What did I do wrong? <laughs> Are you understanding? <laughs> what we believe is, does not line up with the Word of God. <laughs> so, verse 11 is, We pray that you may be invigorated and strengthened with all power. See that? That power, that strength is available to us now by the Holy Spirit. We don't have to wait. The power according to the might of His glory to exercise every kind of endurance and patience, perseverance, and forbearing with joy. Mm -hmm. The key is Holy Spirit. So ang Yahweh mao ang balang Espiritu. So what do we pray? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done where? On earth. On earth as in where? Amen. Yeah. Do you think in heaven it takes 20 years to get saved, healed, delivered, set free? Mm -hmm. Look, I'm, I'm showing into you the possibility mm -hmm. that if that all things are possible. And there's an anointing available. There's the power of the Holy Spirit available to us right now. If we can raise our expectation level to receive instead of Oh, I struggled with this for the last 10, 20 years. Aren't you tired of asking Lord when? I'm speaking from experience. My struggles with the flesh. Because I, I, I believe this lie. Uh, the Romans chapter 7. I received this in myself. Paul said it's not I who sin, it's the sin nature in me. Can you relate? Paul said, why do I do the things I know I'm not supposed to do? Can you relate? And then he said, why don't I do the things I know I'm supposed to do? Can you relate? And for 25 years, I've accepted that's Paul. And then struggle with the sin nature that's in me. So, so, how come I say this much and you say that much? Because Misaya is the Yeah, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I and I believe that. That was my lot in life to be like Paul in Romans 7. Is there anyone that can relate? That's the great apostle Paul. He struggled with the sin nature. But, but the revelation that I've come into that was part of the progress of Paul as he's growing in his relationship with Christ. And he didn't stay there struggling with the sin nature. He didn't stay there. He said, O oh, wretched man that I am, who's going to set me free? Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ, 
I've been set free. And then he goes into Romans 8 and he starts talking about walking in the Spirit. Okay, so next Tuesday we're going to, I'm going to preach on Romans chapter 8. So Paul progressed from the sin nature into walking in the Spirit. So what does Galatians chapter 5 say? Walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And Paul was describing this flesh in Romans 7 as the sin nature. But he overcame it. And he began to walk in the Spirit. By the Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, he overcame the sin nature. Because you can't walk in the Spirit and fulfill the lust of the flesh at the same time it's one or the other he got free so but for 25 plus years I've been wrestling with my flesh thinking my lot in life is I must wrestle my way through this not realizing that I've already been set free by the Holy Spirit. I understand it. I accepted this, what is taught in the church has been the truth. And I determined that I'm not going to listen to that anymore. I'm not going to believe Romans chapter 7 anymore. I'm not going to stop at Romans chapter 7. I'm going to move on in my faith into walking in the Spirit. As an overcomer. As a more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Are you understanding? We don't have to stay there. Paul didn't stay there. He got revelation and moved past that in his walk with God. And by faith, we can appropriate that for ourselves right now. Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty and freedom. Oh, I'm sorry, brother. Your freedom's not for another 20 years. You're going to have to wait. Or, Muban mo ingo nga, pasaylo ako isoon, kang imong kagawasan, mo ap mo ap pa, o sunod sa sunod pa nga bayin ka toin. Ray, you have to wait till your hair grows out. Let me pray, magulat pa ka, kung sa mutubo ng mga mo. No, it's not the word of God. What do you need right now? God is more than willing to give it to you. Okay, so look, look at Colossians 1, we'll look at verse 22 and 23. Yet now has Christ the Messiah reconciled you to God in the body of his flesh through death in order to present you holy and faultless and irreproachable to his, the Father's presence. She does not the word say you must be holy. Or you'll never see the Lord. Or you'll never enter the kingdom of God. So when are we supposed to get holy? 
because I was taught, you know, it's it's the process of sanctification. It's going to take you all your life there, young man. Tungod kay itudluan ko nga ang proseso sa pagkapinasahi nga mahimo kang puro kinahanglan og taas ka ayo nga proseso tibuo timo kinabuhi. Because that's our limited experience. Tungod kay mo na ang atong kasinatian nga limitado ra. Because I'm 60 years old almost and I I I still struggle in my flesh so you're right, it's a process. Tumot kayo, 60 anos na siya, may naglisod siya gawat sa'yo na muna, so iyan, ito ka na lang, inuod yun, prosesa yun. But why can't we appropriate the holiness of God by faith? Pero nga nung dili man na tumadawat ang pagkamalangan sa kino, pinagi sa pagtoo. Why do we have to wait? Nung kinahanan naman na tumuhula. That's like saying, well, I say, I asked Jesus into my heart 20 years ago, I'm still waiting. Murag, parera na sa nag-ingon ka nga, Gihatag na ako kung kasing-kasing kang Yesus, 20 kaanyos na nila ba? Pero hatod ka rin, gamulat sa hapong ko. Is this making sense to anyone? Na ba na ikuan ka ng nakasabot ba ta? Is this making sense to anyone? Na ba na sense? Para sa akin na to? Na klaro ba na to? Amen. I got one amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 23. Now listen. He said, and this he will do. Amen. He will, he will make you holy and faultless. Holy and faultless, that's nothing less than the stature and fullness of Jesus Christ. Siya mo ay mismo mga magbuhat ni mo, nga mabalaan ka, nga mahimu kang sama ni ginoong Heso Kristo. Can you be part, can you be part holy or half holy or... Three quarters holy. Pwede ba ang medya medya raka ng balaan, tumatunga balaan, katunga balaan dili? Can you be partway faultless but not, you know? Pwede ba katunga raka ng walay sala, may katunga kasasala? So which one is it? Asa man jo? Are you are we going to be holy and faultless or not? Pwede mo ba tayong balaan o walay o walay sala o dili? Because he said he will do. He will do it. Provided you continue to stay with and in the faith of Christ. Amen. Amen. So what's our part? Staying in the faith of Christ. So ato day trabaho ng mga pabilinta sa tong pagtuo diya ang Kristo. Listen to that. Aminawa. Staying in the faith in Christ. Amen. It's not our faith. Dili ato ng pagtuo. There's the Holy Spirit pouring out. God's faith, the Christ, the Christ faith, Jesus faith in us. So that we can receive by faith. Na ipagbuo sa walang espiritu sa pagtoo ni ginong Jesus Kristo, madawat nato na pinagi sa pagtoo. So we're promised if we stay in the faith in Christ, in Christ. Isa aran tanga kung magpabilinta sa tong pagtoo dihat kang Kristo or ni Kristo. I can do all things. Mabuhat na ko ang tanan through pinagi myself. Saan ang pagalingon? Through pray. Pinagi kang kuya rin. Through my asawa. Pinagi kang mami. No, no. Dili. I can do all. All. What does all mean? Mabuhat na po ang tanan. Kasi po pasabot sa tanan. All this all. Ang tanan mo ang tanan. I can do all things through Christ. Mabuhat na po ang tanan. Pinagi kang Kristo. Nga maoy naghimot. Pinanahimot na kong kusog. So, in this faith in Christ, well-rounded and settled and steadfast, not shifting or moving away. So we don't move away from Christ. We stay there. We set our flint, our face like flint. We grab a hold of him. We don't let go. We don't move away from the hope which rests on its inspired the glad tidings of gospel which you heard which we have has been preached as being designed for and offered without restriction. Amen. There's no restriction. Wala restriction, wala pa ba? Amen. The gospel's been offered without restriction. So ang 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 pulong gihatag nga wala pa ba? To every person under heaven. Amen. Every person in which a uh, gospel I Paul became a minister. So it's being offered to all of us. We receive it by faith. So gihatag na nato is gihatag na ni sa tuwa ang atong trabaho is the wato na lang nato ni pinagi sa pagtuo. Verse twenty-eight. Versikulo ba ti ocho? Him we preach and proclaim, 
warning and admonishing everyone, instructing everyone in all wisdom, comprehensive insight into the ways and purposes of God that we may present every person mature, mm. full grown, fully initiated, complete and perfect in Christ, the anointed one. Amen. Do you see it? Mm. That's, that's our job, is to present that person to Christ, which means it's possible. Which means it's possible to mature and be fully grown, fully initiated, complete and perfect in Christ, the anointed one. So possibly nga mahangbong, makompleto, motubo, o mahingpit, diha kang Kristo. If it wasn't possible, the Word of God wouldn't say this. Kaya kung dili, dahil hindi siya possible, dili o na niikon sa pulong sa Diyos. So, this is the way it was presented to me. So, gini iani siya ipakita sa kuwa. In your DNA, diha sa itong DNA, sa itong, sa itong, your DNA you receive from your mama and papa, ang DNA nga gikan natin sa itong mama o papa, is the seed form of who you will become as an adult. Naani mo ang liso na kung maunsa ka, hindi ka na po niyo. Built into those cells, so, gibutang niya ang mga cell, in your mother's womb, diha sa taguangkan sa imong mama, is the DNA of both your mother and father, mo ang DNA sa imong papa o sa imong mama. That, out of that, out of those cells, you will grow into a full-grown adult son or a adult daughter. Nagigil atong gamay nga sel mo tubo ka dapat na may mukang hamtong hingpit, may mukang adult na anak ka lalaki o babay. Are you understanding? Sabdan na It's built into your DNA. So gibutang na na sa diha sa tong DNA. This is how you get nose extension. Huh? How you get nose extension. So yung anak, matutubo nga itong ilong. <laughs> because you got it from the DNA from Mama and Papa. Because of Mama and Papa. So <laughs> That's why you have the shape that you have. And in the same way. The DNA of God is in us, in our spirit. Sa sama pa agi ang DNA sa Espiritu sa Dios. In seed form. Nagyak sa liso. To grow into this adult spiritual son and daughter. Para matubo ng ato ng mahimong adult ng anak ng lalaki o babae. Do you have to tell the child to grow? Kinalaman ba ni mga ina ng bata na huwag tubo po? You have to say the the bata. You have to command them to grow. What happened to you? Do you have to tell somebody to grow a beard or grow hair? It's built in your DNA. But you have the seed of God in you. You have the DNA of Christ in you. And in that DNA, you grow into this maturity. But unlike the natural realm, you don't have to take 20, 30 years to grow. You grow spiritually much faster than you can grow in your body. By faith. But we've been told our whole life, no, it's the same process. It's slow. You grow very slow into your manhood or your womanhood. And it's the same way spiritually. But no, that's not what the Word of God said. Okay, let's look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 10 and 11. Colossians 2, verse 10 and 11. And you are in Him, made full, and having come to fullness of life in Christ, you too are filled with the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and reach full spiritual stature, and He is the head of, the, of all rule and authority of every angelic principality and power. So you're filled 
with the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You're coming, you're having come to fullness of life in Christ. You're filled. So if you see what the Word of God says. So ang pulong si Gino, makita ba natin si Gino sa pulong si Gino? Now I understand we aren't walking in the fullness of this yet, but what I'm trying to get across to all of us is that you can. This is what the possibility Nakasabot ko na wala pa kita naglakaw sa kinatibukan and there's sa giplano sa Ginoo. And Pero there's, pwede. There's an acceleration in the spirit right now to grow faster. Ug naay acceleration pagpaspas sa pagtubo diha sa espiritu nga paspas. We are in the end time. Kinahanglan ta sa katapusan ka panahonan. Everything is accelerating. Ang tanan gipaspasan na. Faster and faster. Mas paspas pa gyud. And there's a grace poured out upon you right now. Ug naay ginabubuo ang grasya para kanimo karon. That to receive this by faith. Nga para madawat nimo ni sa pagtuo. To make a determination in your heart that I'm going to fulfill this. Nga imo jud iingon sa imong kasing-kasing nga kinahanglan mabuhat na ko ni. And uh, ako Take you long to go. I'm not. I don't have another twenty years. I might not live that long. Nya, sayang ida at nagulang na sa nya. Dili ko magbutog by tikatuig pa. So I'm going to receive it now. Okay na na yung madawat na ko. Paro na. Minaki sa pagtuo. Okay na. Okay. Amen. Right. Doesn't matter how young or old you are. Dili na importante kung sa kakabata o sa kagatigula. This is what's available to you. Apan kini mo ang available para kani mo karon. Amen. So verse eleven. In him also you were circumcised with a circumcision not made with hands. You have to get this. Amen. Because the circumcision of. The sin nature, the cutting off of the sin nature, so, pagtanta, into maturity. Sa kinaiya sa pagkamakasasala ngato sa pagkantong. It's not made with human hands. Hindi kini gibuhat pinagi sa mga kamot ng sa tao. It's not in human time frame. Hindi kini sa tauhan yun ng mga kanang panahon. But in a spiritual circumcision performed by Christ. Amen. By stripping off the body of the flesh, the whole corrupt. Carnal nature with its passions and lusts. Do you see it? Kita pa nato. I'm not going to stay in Romans seven. Nadili ko mo pabilin dia sa Romans sete. It says right here, I don't have to. Nagingon din niya sa Colossus dos onse nga dili na kinanglan. That Christ has spiritually circumcised the sin nature. The whole corrupt carnal nature with its passions and lusts. Nagitang tang na ni Ginoong Yesu Kristo ang ang kinaiya sa pagkamakasasala. Are you getting this? Diha sa diha sa tuan sa tan ba nato? I see you thinking real hard. Yeah. I hear grinding going on, grinding going on in here. This is making sense to anyone. Amen. Are you capturing the revelation? Nakuha pa nato ko pa dayag ni ni. Amen. We don't have to wait. Let's exercise our faith. Dili na natin kinala ng mula. Tangatua na lang, tangatua ang ibang saya to pagtuo. Colossians three seventeen. This is how. Colossians three seventeen. Let's turn to kung diyon sa. And whatever you do, no matter what it is, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus and in dependence upon His person. Giving praise to God the Father through Him. Amen. Independence on Him. So di hata mo depende kaniya. You can't have dependence on yourself. Dili ka pwede mo depende sa mga kawali. You can't depend on your mama anymore to mature you. Now you're a full-grown man. Dili na ka pwede mo depende sa mga mama ngayon. You're a full-grown woman. Nga dako naman ka. Your pastor can't make you grow faster. Ang imo pasto dili pwede ka makapapaspas ng patubo ni mo. He might be able to help you a little bit. Pwede siya makatapan ni mo, kinagmay. The dependency is not on another human being or yourself. Apan ang pagkadepende, dili dapat sa lain nga tao. Or your own strength and your own ability. O dihan sa mong kagulingong puso. Are you getting this? O dihan sa mong kagulingong abilidad. This is how you're going to be set free. Dependency on Jesus Christ. Ang ane, ang mahimu kang gawa Pastor, kailangan nga mo depende ka diha kang Kristo. By faith. Pinaagi sa pagtuo. Through the grace of the Holy Spirit. Pinaagi sa grasya sa balaang Espiritu. Amen? Amen. So, let's turn to John 14. Ito lang tawang diha sa Juan 14. I'm gonna go another 10 or 15 minutes. 
So, um, kapat pa tawag mga pulo o kinsi pa kami nito. I just want to show you something real fast. Ako ipakita so, ninyo. Some verses. Ang versikulo. That you have the help of the Holy Spirit. Ganaan nato ang magtatabang na mao ang balaang Espiritu. That if we'll depend on the Holy Spirit. Na kung mo depende ta dihas sa balaang Espiritu. It will make fellowship with the Holy Spirit our priority first thing every morning. Mo ang pagpakiglang bigit sa balaang Espiritu mo ay pinakauna na tong prioridad una sa tanan sa kabuguan. That the Holy Spirit is our ever present help in our need, in na, every need. Ang balaang Espiritu mo ay himuo na tong makanunayong uh, anaagayod ka magtatabang sa tanang panginahang lanon. That the Holy Spirit is not just some power out there. That is the Spirit of God that comes to live inside of you. And, and through daily dependency on Him, developing fellowship with Him first thing in the morning, that He'll take you by the hand and He'll impart His grace to you and He'll help you to overcome whatever problem it is that you have. He's more than willing to help you overcome sin Andam siya nga mabuntog ni mo ang sala. Listen, you don't have to wait 20, 30 more years to overcome that alcoholism. Paminaw, dili ni mo kinangan yung magulat ka o 20 o 30 pa katuig para mabuntog ni mo. That drug addiction. Na naging pagka-addict sa alcohol o sa droga. There's some of you out there right now, you're struggling with pornography. And the Lord can deliver you like that. The Holy Spirit is your helper. He'll help you overcome sin. The world. The devil. And your flesh. Every single day. Matag adlaw. If you will allow him by faith. Kung imo sang tugutan pinagi sa pagtuo. If you put him first place in your life. Kung imo sang unahon tagaan sa pinakauna diya si mong kinabuhi. You will make fellowship with him your priority. Kung ang pagpakiglang bigit diya kaniya mo imahimo imo prioridad. So let me show you what it says here. Ako yung pakita niya din ni. I'm just going to go through several scriptures real quick. Chapter 14, John, we'll start with verse 13. Juan 14, 13. Now listen to this. First of all, I'm going to start in chapter, verse 12 because it's my favorite. And this is Jesus talking. He's saying, I assure you most solemnly, I tell you, if anyone steadfastly believes in me, he himself will be able to do the things that I do, and he will do even greater works than these, because I go to my Father. Amen. That's what we can do. If I will do it, I myself will grant whatever you ask in my name, as presenting that I am, all that I am, so the Father may be glorified and extolled through the Son. We can ask. Whatever we ask in His name, if we believe it, we can receive it. We don't have to question if it's His will. If it's in His Word, it's His will. And when, we, when we pray His Word, it's His will and we'll receive it by faith. Verse 14. Yes, I will grant. I myself will do for you whatever you shall ask in my name. Let's ask. Let's believe. That's presenting all that I am. If you really love me, you'll keep my commands. Mm. And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another comforter, mm. another counselor, a helper, an intercessor, an advocate, a strengthener, and a standby, and He may remain with you forever. Amen. How can we fail when we have the Spirit of God 
who is willing to live inside of us and help us every single second and every single day. How can we fail? Who has their phone here? Where's your cell phone? Oh. I want you to pull up that email I sent you with who the comforter is. The spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive, welcome take to its heart because it does not see him, know him, recognize him, but you know and recognize him for he lives with you constantly and he will be in you. He lives with you constantly and he'll be in you. Verse 17. Listen, verse 18. I will not leave you as orphans, comfortless, desolate, bereaved, forlorn, or helpless. This is Jesus. Through the Holy Spirit, I'm not going to do that to you. So, si Jesus kaya na ginoo, hindi nito mo biyaan ng may mga ilog tuapos. Praise the Lord. We we we're not helpless. So, hindi nito ka nang pinasagdan. We're not orphans. Hindi hmm. nito ilo. We have. Can you imagine this, you guys? God Himself is here to help you every single day. Ang ginoo mismo na ating hinga mo tapang ni mo matag at lao. He's not leaving you helpless or as an orphan. Wala mo niya pasagdin. How can you fail? Unsaon man ni mo nga may mo kapiling? How can you fail with Him? Unsaon nga mapiling ka kung na sa ni mo? So verse 26. Yes, the versículo 26. But the Comforter, Counselor, Helper, Intercessor, Advocate, Strengthener, Standby, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, in my place, to represent me and act on my behalf, He will teach you all things. Mm. He will cause you to recall or remind you and bring to your remembrance everything I have told you. But when you read the Word of God, when you study the Word of God, when you meditate on the Word of God, it's the Holy Spirit is going to teach you what it means. He promises to teach you all things. Why are we ignoring Him? Why do we ignore Him? We desperately need Him every day. Teach us all things. Chapter 15, verse 4, versículo 4. Dwell in me, and I will dwell in you. Live in me, I will live in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit of itself without abiding in the vine united to the vine, neither can you bear fruit unless you abide in me. Mm. So we must abide in the vine. So you were created to bear much fruit. So you were created to bear much fruit. Verse 7, if you live in me, abide vitally united to me in my words, remain in you, and continue to live in your heart, ask whatever you will, and it shall be done for you. Why aren't we asking? Because we don't really believe. Let's choose to believe the word of God tonight. Verse 8. When you bear produce much fruit, my Father is honored and glorified, and you show and prove yourself to be true followers of mine. Mm. Chapter 16, verse 7. This is still Jesus talking. However, I'm telling you nothing but the truth. When I say it's profitable, it's good, it's expedient, it's to your advantage for you that I go away. Because if I do not go away, the comforter, counselor, helper, advocate, intercessor, strengthener, standby will not come to you in the close fellowship with you. But if I go away, I will send him to you to be in close fellowship. Do you want to be in close fellowship with God? Amen. Because he said, I'll be in close fellowship with you. Now this is the biblical definition of just the word comforter. As it applies to the Holy Spirit. Go ahead and interpret this. 
One who pleads another's cause. Before a judge. A pleader. Counsel or defense. An advocate. One who pleads another's cause with one. An intercessor. Of Christ in his exaltation. At God's right hand. Pleading with God the Father for the pardon of sin. For the pardon of sin. In the widest sense, a helper, an assistant, someone to aid you. To aid. Of the Holy Spirit, destined to take the place of Christ, with the apostles, after his ascension to the Father, to lead them to a deeper knowledge of the gospel truth, and give them divine strength, needed to Enable them to undergo trials and persecution on behalf of the kingdom of God. Para sa giharian sa Dios. You have this divine strength. Na kay langit nun na kusog. From the Comforter, the Intercessor, the Holy Spirit. Ikan sa mga tatabas, di pa taliwala ang mao ang balang Espiritu. He's the Enabler. Siya ang maghata kana to. To help us do what we cannot do on our own. Sa pagtabang nato, sa kung unsa dili nato pwede buhat o sa tung kagalingon. What do you need? What are you struggling with? Unsa mo gikinala? Unsa mo gikalistan? You have the help of the Holy Spirit. Na anin mo ang tabang sa balang Espiritu? Ask. Pagayua. Believe by faith. That you receive, and you'll have what you ask. John 16, verse 13. Juan 16, 13. But when He, the Spirit of Truth, the Truth-giving Spirit comes, He will guide you into all the truth, the whole, full truth. Do you want that? Amen. So, banato na. Why would we ever ignore him? Ano nga tama ng ginasalikoy ang balang espiritu? Verse fourteen. He will honor and glorify me because he will take of receive draw upon what is mine. Jesus is saying the Holy Spirit will draw on what is His and will reveal, declare, disclose, and transmit it to you. He'll bring the revelation. The Holy Spirit will bring the revelation of Jesus to you. Ang balang espiritu magdala sa pagbayad. Gikay ka din ng Kristo diya kani mo. Verse fifteen. Everything that the Father has is mine. Amen. Jesus. That is what I meant when I said that He, the Spirit, will take the things that are mine and reveal it to you. So He's going to reveal everything you need. So iyan ipadayag, diya kanin mo ang tanan niya mong ikinahanglan. He's not going to leave you helpless. Hindi kanin abiyaan nga walay ka ng mga kapang. He's not going to leave you as an orphan. Hindi kanin abiyaan ang isip na pinasagdan or ilong. Chapter 17. Kapitulo 17. Verse 11. Versikulo 11. And now I am no more in the world, but these are still in the world. And I am coming to you, Holy Father, keeping your name and your knowledge of yourself. Those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are one. Amen. That they may be one. He's bringing us into this oneness with Him. Verse 13. Versículo 13. And now I'm coming to you. This is still Jesus talking. I say these things while I'm still in the world, so that my joy may be made full and complete and perfect in them, that they may experience my delight Fulfilled in them, that my enjoyment may be perfected in their own souls, that they may have my gladness within them, filling their hearts. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Verse twenty-three. Versículo veintitrés. I in them, and you in me, in order that we may become one and perfectly united, 
So he wants us to be united with him, one union with him. Gusto niya ng mahimot ang hinihusa diha kaniya. That the world may know and definitely recognize that you sent me and that you have loved them even as you have loved me. Amen. Okay, we need the Holy Spirit. Kinahanglan tayo sa sa balaang Espiritu. One more scripture, Psalm 84:11. Salmo 84, versículo 11. So the Holy Spirit, malang Espiritu, is taking us past our man-made process or thought about healing or receiving into experience. So ginadala tayo sa balaang Espiritu, labaw pa or lapas pa sa tong mga pangunahuna ng mga latawhan ng proseso. Gabahin aning mga pagka, uh, pag, pagkaayos sa balatian, sa mga milagro, nga ito, sa kung unsa gayon, ang iingot sa pulong sa ginoo, sa kasinatian na ito. Experiencing His love for yourself. Na kinahangal, masinati na ito ang bugma sa ginoo. Experiencing His healing. Na ka na mabati, yun na ito, masinati na ito ang kaayuan sa ginoo. Experiencing His deliverance. O mabati na ito, masinati na ito ang pagpagigawas. Experiencing His power, His love. O masinati na ito ang iyan gahong mo kang iyang gugma. Making you an overcomer. Na mahimu kang kanang madaugon. Making you victorious. Mahimu kang madaugon. And it says here that He will withhold no good thing from you who walk uprightly. Amen. He's the Lord God is the sun and the shield. The Lord He bestows on us this present grace. Look at that present, not tomorrow, not twenty years from now. Amen. Present grace and favor and future glory, honor, splendor, and heavenly bliss. No good thing will He withhold from those who walk uprightly. Hallelujah. He's not withholding any good thing from us. Wala siya ginagana ginadili ng dili ni ihatag nato. But because our our consciences condemn us, tungod kay ginahukman ta sa tungo kagaliw pang una una. We believe this is a long process. Atong gituohan ng taas pagigayu kini ng proseso. When it doesn't have to be. Nadili naman nata kina ng ngana. If we'll determine by faith, I'm going to receive what God said in His Word for myself. Nagung atong ideterminar gyud sa tungo kagaliw ng mga ingon yung kaga mo tuo ko sa kung unsay ginon sa ginoo di asa yung pulong. And I'm going to walk in the fullness of it now, and I'm not waiting twenty more years. Ug dili ko magulat ug bayin ti pa katuig para maglakaw ko sa kinatibuk ang plano sa ginoo para kanako. Why should we when he says I'm withholding no good thing from those who walk upright? Ngano magunaw na manta ng dugay pa kung ang ginoo kung isulingon siyang pulong na wala si dili yata ng nato para sa mga naglakaw ng matarong. Are we getting this? Nasabtan ba nato? Is this making sense to anyone? Naklaro ba ni para nato? Amen. Praise the Lord. Alaygo ng Dios. Praise God. So right, right now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone here. I pray for every one that's watching. I'm thanking you, Holy Spirit, right now. Amen. I'm, I'm praising you for what you're doing. I'm praising you for this word. Lord, and that there's a release of that breaker anointing. Amen. The breaker anointing is released to us Amen. to overcome whatever it is. And I'm releasing healing to your mind, your body, and your soul right now. Deliverance from demonic attack in the name of Jesus. Healing in your body yes, Lord. right now in the name of Jesus. Deliverance. From uh, smoking, deliverance mm. from alcoholism, deliverance from pornography, yes. deliverance, Father God, in the name of Jesus, being released to you right now, healing and miracles to you right now, mm. in the name of Jesus, Hallelujah. right now, but all pain going in the name of Jesus, yes. Father God, and I'm asking you, Holy Spirit, to take us each by the hand right now, bring the revelation of who Jesus Christ is. Mm. And lead us into this that all things are possible yes. to those who believe. Yes. And we're making a determination and we're asking the Holy Spirit to help us to believe. To yes. believe your word yes. by faith yes. in the name of Jesus. We're not helpless, we're not hopeless, we're not left as orphans, we're overcomers in the name of Jesus. Yes. So that trauma that you went through. When you were a child, that trauma you went through as a young adult, 
the things that were done to you by others, sexual assault, rape, these kinds of things, this trauma that was done to us, in the name of Jesus, I'm rebuking the demanding all that trauma to go in the name of Jesus, and I'm releasing the spirit of adoption to you right now, and I'm declaring that you're no longer an orphan, and you're no longer held back by the trauma that was done to you as a child, or a teenager, or a young adult, in Jesus' mighty name, whom the Son sets free, is free indeed. Be healed and be made, be made whole from this moment forward. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.